All right, folks, let me bridge the time um, until uh, Cyan is back with working audio. Let's do not do the Linux audio jokes right here. I've been struggling with that as well. And um, share some news with you. And for that, I'm going to share my screen. And we're looking at the uh, release call agenda from today. So we've, we've started the habit having um, GitHub discussions for both the community call and the uh, releases calls. And um, I'll briefly circle to the new section. All right. Um, first of all, we have a bug smashing day coming up. And um, there's a tracking issue for the bug smashing day as well, uh, which you can check in the issue tracker. Just give me a second. The bug smashing day will be broadcast on YouTube. So you can watch the stream of us smashing the Xbox. Um, you're invited to join uh, via Zoom call or just through the metrics channel and um, help us identify bugs and help us smash bugs. So the whole um, Flatcar maintainers team will just spend their whole day on Friday smashing bugs from the issue tracker, combing issues in the issue tracker and so on. If you have a favorite itch that you need scratched, um, this is your opportunity to make your voice heard. If you've always wanted to start smashing bugs in um, Flatcar Linux, then please join and we'll help you along. We have a number of talks coming up at FOSDEM. It's, um, it's five talks at, uh, overall. And um, handing over to Kai uh, to introduce his talk. Yeah, I um, submitted a talk for um, yeah, the general topic of how to use immutable infrastructure with flat car and ignition. And it yeah, will touch the, um, the basic principles and then go into some uh, techniques on how to do this with Terraform. And um, in the end, I will also show how you can uh, reuse your instances while still updating the configuration and do so um, with some kind of proof of concept hack, hack which I did for Ignition with a new directive where you can reuse the uh, root for FS state and um, yeah, avoid having to redeploy your whole instance just because you want to change some configurations and don't want to do it manually or introduce some config drift by using Ansible. Awesome. That's great news. Um, I will make sure not to miss it. Uh, Mathieu has a talk on testing. Yes. Uh, hi, everyone. So in this talk, we cover the testing process of Flatcar from a big overview. Uh, and we'll dig into the implementation with the test framework we are using with Flatcar. It's called Cola. And we'll see a tiny example of how to write tests for Flatcar and to contribute in this way to the operating system. And I know Cyan has a talk um, accepted in the distributions dev room, which is about um, hardening container hosts. But Cyan is battling audio issues currently. I have a talk in the containers dev room on uh, Flatcar's auto update feature and just general lessons that we've learned and patterns that could be reused for auto updating the operating system on your cluster. And there's a talk in the distribution staff room on building your own custom flat car operating system image from scratch from sources and modifying the image, which is also valuable if you want to start upstream flat car development, because that is how the PRs are being worked on that we take upstream. All right. So these are our first talks. And that's our bug smashing day. The Final noteworthy news is that we've started tracking releases in issues as well. We have a new issue template with all of the to-dos that we go through 
until something finally gets released. It's currently an ongoing release, so you can see that it's live in action. And um, here's the tracking issue for that. It's just in the issue tracker. It's one of the first issues there. So, Cyan, how are you doing? Am I audible? Oh, no. Uh, you're audible, but quite no. quite lowly. No. G it give better? it a bit more volume. Yeah. This is Mic maximum. check, check. Maximum <laughs> gain. Is this, is this better? Or like... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll then share my slides one minute. Uh, presentation. Slideshow. Uh, yeah. Uh, is my slide visible? Jeez. Yeah, well visible. Cool, thank you. Yeah, uh, sorry for the delay. Uh, so yeah, so welcome to the Flatcar uh, release team meeting. Uh, thank you, uh, Thilo, for taking over. <laughs> like, sorry for the delay. And so, yeah, so uh, the agenda is we will be discussing the current release and doing the release planning um, as we are right now in between a release. So we are not doing two weeks of planning. Uh, we usually do two weeks of planning, uh, two releases of uh, planning, but this time we are just focusing on the next one um, um, as it's two weeks from now. Uh, yeah, so. I see Peter, you, on, uh, you have joined, but uh, would you like to introduce once more? Yeah, this is uh, talking to me. How's it, everybody? This is uh, Peter Pouya from Ampere. Uh, nice, to, nice to be joining you again. Uh, it, for those unfamiliar, Ampere uh, uh, computing, we make uh, hyperscale uh, processors that are uh, Air 64 architecture. Um, so very happy to be joining and hear more about your uh, Air 64 releases. Thank you, thank you. Thanks for the introduction. So, yeah. Wait, hey, we have a we have a new uh, joinee. Um, Arian, would you be interested in briefly introducing yourself? Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. very well. Okay, good. Yeah, I'm uh, Arian. Uh, Arian. Uh, I've been running a flat car Linux uh, Kubernetes cluster at home for a year or two, I think. And uh, was I've been at the first meeting of this months ago, and I thought I'd, I'd join again uh, just to see what's what's going on and what's up. Um, and I'm going to be writing a blog post about my little home cluster relatively soon. So. We'll also share that uh, in the in the community here once it's out. Awesome! It. That sounds great. Thank you. Uh, we have uh, Joachim as well. So Joachim, uh, would you like to introduce? Hey, folks. Yeah, sorry, I was having some trouble connecting. Uh, I'm Joaquin, I'm part of the Kinfo team at Microsoft as well, um, though uh, dealing with uh, different things from Flatcar, even if a bit related because we um, we manage the and we developed the, the Nebraska project that manages the updates for Flatcar. Uh, I'm, I'm actually just, I just joined because I was interested in, in learning how the, the, this release meeting uh, is conducted. Uh, I'll be taking some ideas myself. So carry on. <laughs> Am I supposed to, to bring someone next for introduction? Uh, Daniel, you are new as well. So would you like to introduce? Okay. Uh, hi, sorry, I get my camera on. Um, hi, I'm Daniel, I'm a program manager um, for Flatcar. So wanted to join this one. Um, 
yeah and see like uh, the release planning been to a couple of them but like interested how it goes now <laughs> cool i think um, that's all yeah uh, i think that's all we now do like we don't do all the introductions we just do the folks who are joining new so yeah so i guess that's all so let's move on to the release planning uh yeah so before that let's get uh let's give you a current state so we are doing a release right now we are in between a release so uh if you joined the matrix channel you would be seeing uh the status that we are doing uh the uh, the progression like today was a really busy day uh throughout the through the day and uh things are looking good and we should be having releases like out by end of the day or uh, hopefully tomorrow and then um um Thilo already talked about the Fossim talk, so uh, do join. Uh, um, we have uh, four talks, if I recall correctly. Five, we have five. Five talks, yeah. Okay, so five talks we have, uh, and oh yeah, Thilo is doing two talks. So yeah, so we have five talks. Uh, so yeah, do join the uh, do join the uh, dev rooms and give feedbacks on the talks, and yeah, uh, would love to see you there. Then we have the box smashing day, uh, which is coming. Uh, it would be happening on a matrix channel. We would be having, uh, uh, we're trying to get a stream as well. We, uh, so uh, just join in the matrix channel. We will have more information on the day of the uh, uh, box smashing day. And the plan is that we would be going through uh, uh, all the issues uh, and a good a good day to if you are looking to contribute a good day to contribute throw in ideas uh, open up even open up i would say new issues if you have and closing the older ones which are uh, either fixed not relevant or yeah so uh, see uh, do remember the date is uh, this friday which is 20th of january cool uh, moving on to the planning board so uh, is the planning board visible? Yeah, good. Uh, okay, so uh, as I told, we are doing so just for the new folks. Uh, how uh, I'll just let you know how we uh, plan the uh, release. So uh, we have a planned board, uh, we have a long term board, uh, and then we have in progress ready to review, ready to release. And so what planned is basically we, if we, when we are introducing uh, planning, introducing new bugs uh, or sorry, introducing new uh, bugs that needs to be fixed. So we introduce it to the planning board. And then as it progresses, we move it through the uh, issues. Uh, since the boards are connected to the issues, we directly mark them, control them, how they move over to different boards through the issues itself. Uh, and then uh, like you can see the planning, uh, uh, for right now, the uh, planning is happening for the current release. It's not done yet, so it's still open. Uh, the next one is will be happening on 7th of February. Uh, so uh, we will be planning for that in, the, uh, in this meeting right now. And then we have ready to release. As soon as they are released, we move them as done, uh, like released. And after after three releases, we remove the whole uh, whole uh, board together. So at most we have uh, three to four released boards, and then ready to release would be two, and then uh, the other boards are just for planning. Long term are issues which ends up more than uh, like we end up spending more than two weeks. So we usually put them in long term, and people usually give status updates. We don't have in one right now. So, okay, so now moving on to the release uh, planning. So in this release, we are do, uh, we merged a couple of them, a uh, couple of the packages, uh, but a, a lot of them were in progress. So those things will, we would be working on the next one. Uh, so uh, right now, so I moved this particular uh, backlog and the in progress, it was a bunch. So I just moved them. We, I did not add any uh, new packages that needs to be added because this is a good amount. And uh, given we are working on system D, system D we planned for 7 February, thanks to Kajimir's work, we have done a good progress there. Uh, so yeah, so uh, anything other than this that you think that needs attention or any package that needs to be added?
Mm. No. Okay, so I think this is good. Uh, and uh, yeah, so uh, we are working on the uh, uh, we are working on the uh, system D updates, and we'll start uh, as soon as we complete of the release. We'll resume the work on the in progress issues, I guess. So and. Uh, any issues that you want to like uh, right now we have the uh, ipv6 one so we merged the changes that needed but uh, they have not been uh, merged into the uh, like core the core os overlay packages has not been updated uh, to refer to the uh, boot engine and it changes so uh, this that would happen this week so we would have the ipv6 uh, fixes in and uh, yeah this Bug the alpha three one uh, the SLNS bug. This can be moved, Matthew, right? To uh, um, you fix this. It, right? it, it has been fixed and ported to get with to the alpha release, but I think it has been missed into the beta and stable for for this reason. Okay. If if I'm not wrong, Kai, you maybe you want to add some uh, procedure. I think that. That was the thing that wasn't fixed, right? It's the problem that when you boot with enforcing mode, um, talks can't unpack. Or? Oh, it's it's not the same thing we're talking. Uh, so, it's a bit small. I can't see where. <laughs> it's the Linux uh, leaks of uh, files. Uh, right, yeah, it's fixed. Uh, it will be part of the next release. <laughs> yeah. Right. Oh, okay. It popped out this side. So uh, I'll just move it to the this board, the seventh board. Oh no. Wait. Uh. Where did it jump to? Uh, this right here. Yeah, so I'm putting this here, and uh, I think it uh, this release would be very package heavy. Like we would be pushing a lot of packages and uh, the updates. So, other than the that, uh, is there anything that you want to uh, talk about? I, um, I did. Yeah, thanks for coming. Um. Uh, today, uh, I discovered a security issue in Julixi and Gen2 already updated Julixi to 2.33.r9. So I added that into the uh, board of uh, release February 7th. Okay. Um, uh, we have two options. Uh, we can uh, just bump to the, the R9 of 2.33 or we can uh, just jump to the next version, 2.34. So yeah, whoever wants to work on Julipsy, so you can choose between, yeah. Okay, okay. I, I, think, I think if we wanna jump to 34, then we would need to do both, right? If it's a security issue, we need the bump to 33 to the latest version at least for beta and stable, because we don't want to switch glibcs in, 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 a, uh, in a patch level release. And for the next alpha uh, major release, we may investigate bumping um, to 3.34, which can be an exciting job. Some of us have done it before. Yeah. Thanks, Dongzu, awesome. Right. Thank you, uh, thank you, Rongsu. So, yeah, it's like um, we are approaching the same way for systemd as well. We are updating this to 249 in the other branches, but 250 would be in alpha. But anyways, yeah. Uh, anything else, Matthew? You were saying something? No, it's all right. I was looking for the UT Linux update, but I see it now on the plan. Okay. Uh, anyone else? Any questions? It's, it's likely that the ready to release column will have more entries after Friday, or at least I hope so. 
because we're gonna smell a lot of bugs. But let's see. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully, the next one would be like the bigger than the current one. But yeah, so let's see. Um, and if no question, then I can return back to the slides. Yes, so uh, folks, uh, we are like, uh, if you would like to contribute, uh, do uh, like spread the word, tell uh, to other communities, there's a lot of work going on and there's a lot of opportunities for contribution. And given the box matching days coming up, it's a, it's a good way to start uh, contributing and we'll try to do a stream so that if you, uh, are not on matrix, you can also follow through the screen, use uh, YouTube chat probably. And uh, we are there on uh, matrix, uh, also bridge to IRC. We have our email uh, mailing list. So uh, feel free to join those and see you all in the next community meeting next month. And yeah, any questions, final questions? If not, then ending in three, two, one. Thank you. Thank you everyone for joining and have a great rest of the evening. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Thanks folks. Bye.